everybody. Happy day of love. You know, Valentine's Day is like my favorite day, right? So it's like a big deal for me, okay? <sighs> and really, it's because of the hearts and the love. And it's an excuse to like tell people, I love you. <laughs> And to hug on them and to love on them and, you know, just to have a good time and just to make people feel good and, and to let people know Jesus loves them, right? So, I have a mission. Are you willing to accept this mission, okay? You must tell someone or someones or many ones today that you love them, okay? You got to say... You. see my hearts <laughs> you got to do that it's very important okay accept this mission and you know what it's not just limited to today if you see this message tomorrow next week two months from now three months from now please let someone know that you love them okay it's gonna be amazing for them you know, as many people who go day to day and they don't hear, I love you, or I care for you, or I appreciate you, or I respect you, I honor you, you know, the, and our walk with Christ, with our Father in heaven, we should be telling him all the time, Lord, I love you, I worship you, I honor you, I glorify you, I praise you. Everything you are is because of him. And just know, this is not the end. Even if you're in a tight pinch, you know, this too shall pass. Okay? Things are going to change for you. The tide is turning in your favor. And you need to know that you are not ignored. God has his eye on you. And he loves you. Okay, it's important for you to know that. I love you too! So, repeat after me. What's the assignment today? We're going to let someone know that we love them. Okay? Type it in the chat. I love you. Put me some hearts down there. Okay? And share this message. Share the message of love. Okay? It's important. It's important. Okay. So, one more thing. Move my camera. Okay. So, one more thing is we're going to talk about uh, a scripture. We can't leave without the word now. Because we word based over here. <laughs> this ain't motivational speaking. <laughs> but you can't motivate without the word. Okay. Because it's life. Okay, so my sister this morning, Carrie, did a wonderful job. She did an outstanding job in the Lord. And she talked about love. Praise God for men of God, Papa. Okay, he opened up his platform. The spirit of the living God poured into him and said, hey, preach about love, but let woman of God, Carrie, do it. And praise God for him. He, he just yielded and he went and asked Carrie and she yielded and, and she went and preached for us today and it was a blessing. I'll see if I can post the link uh, for the replay, you know, and join Papa's house. It's a maze. A maze balls and you will be blessed. A powerful man of God. But y'all let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. My sister was used in a mighty way and you know what? She came from John 3.16. And John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but what? Shall have everlasting life. I'm trying to get my camera situation. Shall have everlasting life. Now, y'all, that's awesome. And that is the ultimate demonstration of love, to give your son your only child. Oh, that whoever shall believe in him, whosoever shall believe in him, shall not perish, but what? Shall have everlasting life. That's love. That's love. That's love. Do you know what Jesus endured on that cross? 
That's love. That's love. Listen, tell someone today that you love them. Remember the cross. You need to know that God loves you. Remember the cross. Remember what Jesus did. He saved you. He saved me. He saved us from hell. He saved us from a life that was hell bound. He justified us before God the Father who cannot stand sin. He became sin himself so that when we go to heaven, we can stand before him and not be sentenced to death. Oh, glory! That's a love. Hey. Became sin, became shame, endured sufferings, persecutions, unimaginable pain, disrespect. So as we are in Matthew 7, now learning about the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus is wrapping it up. He lets us know. I'm that gate. Enter the narrow gate. He's that gate. You want to be saved? There's only one way. Jesus. Enter through the narrow gate. Enter through Jesus. Okay? Jesus is our ticket. But it's not just entering the gate. But we also must walk the narrow path. For wide is the gate and wide is the path that what leads to destruction. The do what you want a path. No, he said, enter the narrow gate, right? And then we'll be on the narrow path. That leads to righteousness that leads us to heaven that's the route we need to be taken we're talking about it we're talking about it actually we're wrapping that piece up and we're looking at what the wide path looks like because then we're going to get into the false teachings and the false teachers and it's a really a robust discussion and a robust message because i'm telling you this is a serious thing you know and no one is selling tickets to hell, right? No one is saying their path is going to lead you to hell. They're saying, my path is the way. My path is the way. We need to know how to discern the light from the dark. And some of us don't know how. Come on in the room. We're going to learn how. Jesus has given us specific instructions and we're going to dive deep into what the paths look like and then go into the false teachings because they all just together, right? All right. So anyway, I love you, which is why I came on here just to say, I love you. Tell someone else that you love them. Leave it in the comments, okay? And be blessed today. Be blessed blessed know that you are cared for know that you are loved remember god loves you jesus loves you all right and if you want to recommit your life to the lord come on let me know drop me a line in the chat send me a message my email address is on uh the t-talks bible reads youtube send me a message there are people around that will pray for you okay Follow us on the Facebook. Follow us on the YouTube. Come on Clubhouse if you want to add another app to the phone. If not, you can hear us on the YouTubes and the Facebooks and connect. We're a family. We're engaging. All right? And we love you. Be blessed. Come on and give me a hug. You know, I like hugs, honey. Hugs are healing. Come on over here. <laughs> that felt good, didn't it? I know it did. I know I did because I felt good. I felt good giving it. <laughs> Be blessed. Until the next time. I love y'all. Okay. See y'all today. Tea Talks. 5 p.m. EST. 10 p.m. GMT. 11 p.m. WAT. See y'all. Be blessed.